all right guys in this video i'm going to show you a common error that you get when you're trying to print a job the error is called max width exceeded let me show you what it looks like now in this error i'm going to attempt to print a job now but the machine is not going to print and it's going to give me an error on the face of the screen so i try to send the job and all of a sudden, I get this error slamming me in the face. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem. First, we'll start with why does the problem even exist? Now, this was the same printer that I was printing with just a while ago, right? And the printer was fine. All of a sudden, I try to send a job and I get the max width error. Now, what is causing the problem is quite simple. So, when it says maximum width exceeded, so think of maximum and think of width. You see, the machine spans from here all the way up to here. That's where it stops. Now, the machine has already calculated the distance that will go from here all the way to the end. So, in its mind it knows the distance between here and here and it has hard coded that distance into the system now that's code that distance is calculated in centimeters so now if for any reason you specify the distance from the mach of the machine from the back and then what you are printing physically does not agree with the distance you set inside the machine then you're going to get the error max width exceeded. Let me show you what you are going to do. So in order to fix this problem, we need to get to the back end of the machine. So the way you get to the back end of the machine is to press these four buttons down, left, right, up and down. So I will get somebody to press it down for me now. Then I'll turn on the machine. Remember to keep the machine off before you do the pressing. So once you press down, then you then turn on the machine. Let me press it down. All right, so that way, Press down. Remember, we didn't press enter and exit, just those four buttons. And when we turn it on, it should be in the back end, right? Okay. So now when you're in the back end like this, you're looking for a specific setting. And I'll show you, it's not wiper motor lift. It's not, it's not every other thing else other than this one, right? It's not all these, not these, not these, not these, not this, not this not this not this not this not head width don't make the mistake not station lifts not wiper motor lifts but it is print width so this is what controls the maximum width so currently now it is 151 centimeters if you calculate 151 centimeters it is less than four feet or is less than five feet what that means is that your machine is expecting to stop somewhere here but you see the printer was going to start from here all the way to this place so that was the challenge so in order for you to allow the machine to print the entire width you need to set a back width that would exceed the maximum distance of your machine which is six feet so in my case i would just put it at 216 which is what i put it Now, so once you're done, it can be more, but it shouldn't be less, right? So you press enter, and then it tells you power down. So we'll power down the machine now. So now we'll turn it back on. Now, when the machine comes back on, we will attempt to send the exact same job again. And this time around, it's going to print without any hassles. Let me show you. So I'm going to send the same job now. Press print, then press OK. Now, if everything goes well, it should print automatically. Alright, so the machine is about to start. If I'm correct, it should print. Alright, so can you see? So that's really how to fix that problem. So when the machine says something like max width exceeded, this is what causes the problem. So that's it. I hope this has helped you. If it has, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. By the way, I sell printer heads, I sell X600 printer heads, I sell large formats, monogram machines, plotters. 
So in case you want to buy it from us, please do so that you can help our channel grow and have some more money to be able to do more juicy and interesting content. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.